here at Jacobs, we got this brand new line. It's out the keep up with all the new orders. Now that we have two bottle lines running at the same time. This one runs so much faster, but the other one still gives us the flexibility. As well, we're getting double the output coming out at the end. Welcome to our new facility here at Jakeman's Maple Products. This new facility is GFSI certified. The good thing about that is that there are no maple syrup facilities in Ontario that are GFSI certified. So why that's important? Well, there's many other plants in uh, North America, including the US, Quebec, that have many GFSI certified facilities. And that's allowed them to grow the industry. They, they now are global powerhouses in the maple industry. And what Ontario needs is, an, uh, is a GFSI certified facility. So this is actually the first GFSI certified plant. We use BRC. Uh, we we have achieved a double A rating. We initially built this building to handle the growth that we were seeing. In the past two years alone, we've grown into more than 2,000 grocery stores. So there's been a lot of headaches along the way in, in terms of being able to keep up with that sort of growth. A few months ago, we've installed uh, high-speed bottling lines with great new technology uh, for recycling water that's used in, in our cooling. Even the cooling is actually unique to us in that we cool the bottles prior to boxing up because that allows uh, the syrup to remain at the, the same grade we filled them at. Otherwise, if you box them up hot, they tend to degrade. This, this cooling system is, is unique to us. A lot of uh, the packers we know box them up immediately after filling and that, that can uh, cause the syrup to degrade after it's in the case. So it's very, uh, very good for quality and ensuring that the consumer always gets the best product at the end of the day. Where I see this going in the future is expanding not just in North America, but going overseas into parts of Asia and Europe and growing the industry from the, the many 2000 farms that Ontario already has to more than double that and including our output. Ontario has almost twice as many maple trees as that of its neighboring province in Quebec. Quebec makes 72% of the world's maple syrup, whereas Ontario makes 5%. So there's lots of room to grow, and this is necessary to, to facilitate growth in the industry in Ontario.